Uh, and I am looking forward to getting associated with uh, supporting your next generation uh, in Project Lit in the West Sector. Um, I work all over the United States, and so my work takes me into places like Newark, mm -hmm. Los Angeles, and Boston, and New York City, and, um, and other far-flung places. And I, I will tell you, my initial impression was that, wow, you've got a great city here. You got some really neat stuff going on, uh, and it's a relatively rich city by comparison to other cities of similar population size and, and demographics. You really got a lot of good stuff going on. And the thing that I want to just sort of encourage you to do um, is to work collaboratively. Um, the research that I kind of subscribe to is healthy communities have five things going for them, and you may have heard this. They got a solid education uh, commitment, they've got a solid housing commitment, they have a solid commitment to health, they have a solid commitment to safety, and a solid commitment to jobs. And when you have those five things going, regardless of whether it's in an urban center or a suburban center or a rural community, when you've got those five things going, you've got a healthy community. And so my, my words are to encourage you all to just work collaboratively. Uh, success breeds success. So even if it's just one square block of a particular neighborhood and everybody says, hey, you know what, I can bring jobs, I can bring you know, health, I can bring safety, I can bring all of these things, put it on the playing field, make it a success, and then what's going to happen is it's just going to sort of multiply. And I like the gentleman's comment earlier today on the bus about, you know, put the ingredients in there and then get out of the way because organically uh, people figure out how to make it work for them. And again, thank you for letting me be here today. Thank you. Thank you. This has been some wonderful conversation. Uh,